Okay, everyone, we are back on our six cylinder here. Um, we just pulled the cylinder head. We cleaned off all this surface, cleaned the tops of the pistons. Um, we had the cylinder head back from the machine shop. Um, it was magnafluxed, crack checked, everything checked out good. It got a full rebuild. So that sucker is ready to go. Before we, you know, jump right into just throwing the head on, we're gonna, while we're here, we're gonna throw a new set of lifters in. Um, and then we're gonna move to the head gasket and uh, go from there. Okay, so the lifters on these six cylinders are down inside of these bores right here. So if you have a, a nice little flexible magnet, you can actually fish these out with a magnet. Okay, so all the lifters are out now. This is kind of a good opportunity to look down in those lifters and inspect your camshaft. Make sure we don't have any issues with that. Okay, so before I put these new lifters in, I just kind of put a little coat of the oil that you're using on this engine. Just kind of coat it like that. And then it makes sliding down into the into the bore that much easier. Another thing that I do on these lifters before I install them is I just make sure I can, you know, uh, work that plunger up and down because I've gotten brand new lifters before that are collapsed and they are no good. So I always, you know, check my lifters before I install them. Okay, all new lifters are in. Okay, so before we put our head gasket on here, a uh, couple things to kind of make note of. Make sure all these uh, cylinder head bolts are completely clean. You can use compressed air to blow that out. You don't want anything, you don't want anything inside of there. That's gonna come out mostly liquids. Okay, so the cool thing about these uh, head gaskets is it kind of is printed right on there. Use no sealer. Okay, no retorque. So um, we're not going to use any sealer on the head gasket itself. However, you need to check some of these holes for the head bolts. Um, these engines, they have um, some of the holes go directly into a coolant passage. And so for those particular uh, holes, you have to use thread sealant on the head bolts, uh, not on the gasket, on the head bolts. On this engine, you can actually just kind of look right down into the holes and you can kind of see you know, some of them just have bottoms to them, and some of them just go right into a coolant passage. Like this one right here is actually going right into a coolant passage. But you can kind of look right in there, and you can just kind of see antifreeze. Um, the ones I don't, you can kind of see a bottom to, and you just kind of want to look through all of those. Just to kind of see. So the only one that I've noticed on this engine is um, this front one right here. Another way to check, you can get like that small, that bottoms out, that bottoms out. If there's, if there's a passage to the coolant, you know, it'll go straight through like this one. You see that screwdriver goes straight into coolant. So in this, is the only one that does that. The rest, we don't need any sealant on our heads 
head bolts. So this is the only one we're going to. And what we're going to use is this uh, Permatex thread sealant. Um, you can actually get this uh, from Amazon, part number 80632. So that's what we're going to be using on our uh, cylinder head bolts that require the thread sealing. Um, I've watched other videos on other six cylinders and like there's some in the back that go all the way through. So you gotta watch out for that or else that is gonna leak uh, antifreeze either out or into the cylinder, you know, probably just kind of leak out, but still you gotta, you gotta seal those head bolts. So another characteristic about these six cylinders is there's no dowel pins to kind of help you align your cylinder head. So uh, what I've done is I actually have a whole new set of brand new head bolts and some of the old ones I've actually cut two of the heads off to use as like uh, studs to kind of help me align my gasket and align my cylinder head. So I'm going to install those right now. Okay, so we're going to put one stud here. Okay, we got our homemade uh, dowel pins on there. Okay, one last chance to make sure everything's good. Lifters are in. They're bores. Everything is clean. We've taken note of which cylinder head bolt is going to get thread sealant. Dowel pins are in. Now it's time to lift this cylinder head onto this engine. This is where it gets awkward because these suckers are heavy. If you're working by yourself, this is challenging. Dowel idea is a great idea, but don't uh, don't make sure that you don't want these to be too short, or else you can't get them out. Before you take your alignment studs out, make sure you get bolts started. Okay, so the cylinder head is on. If you buy a new bolt kit, sometimes you might see a bolt that looks like this. Um, there's only one like that. It actually goes in this location here. Um, that is for a, a air conditioning accessory if you have an air conditioning car. Uh, it's for the bracketry on that. So, so it'll go here, and this is also the uh, port that goes into the coolant jacket. And we're using this Permatex thread sealant on that bolt. Okay, so we have the end of that covered up. That's gonna go right in there. Everything else is started. So now we can start our torquing sequence. Okay, for torquing procedure, I do uh, three rounds. First round is going to be at 55 foot-pounds. Second round is going to be 65. And the third round will be at 85 foot-pounds. So, um, cylinder heads, you start from the middle and work yourself out. So, we're going to start with these two bolts here. Once your first two are done, you start in the next row and crisscross. Okay, that's the first six. And now the next row, same principle, crisscross. Okay. 
Okay, that's round one. And do the same thing. I'm gonna step it up. Sixty-five. Last round, eighty-five. She just torqued on there. So now it's time for the rest of the stuff. <laughs> 